this was my rainy day slash avoid Cyber Monday shopping activity that was actually inspired by a Cyber Monday deal. The item was a set of glass jars hanging from twine that you could put tiny plants in. About a month ago, it was sold online for $40. Two weeks ago, I saw the price jump to $75. Today, Cyber Monday 2019, that item looks like it's on sale, back at $40. So it wasn't a deal at all, which is often the case with Black Friday Cyber Monday schemes. Anyway, I had collected a bunch of tiny little glass jars that were originally for, well, pudding. <laughs> but you could use baby food jars or tiny little mason jars, whatever your twine will support. I'm actually just using kitchen string because that's what I have. However long you want the hanger to be, say two feet, just double that length for the string. So I would cut four feet of string. This gives you a little extra room to wrap the jars and then a little more just in case you mess up. Now wrap the top of the jars twice with the twine and tie a double knot. Now decide how far apart you want the jars. Usually about four inches looks nice. And then repeat that on the next jar. It might take you a couple tries to get the hang of it, so don't knot your jars too tightly until you know they're in the right position. Assembled, attach them to some sort of hanging device. This thing was once a part of a fryer, but you could even use a coat hanger. Now you can fill the jars with whatever tiny plants you want. I used herb cuttings so that I could root them and regrow new herbs. You can actually do this with many different types of herbs like basil, mint, rosemary, thyme, I'm even using store-bought mint that was pretty wilted, and I'm fairly confident that I will get it to grow back. I've done it before. Now before I place the plants in the water, I scrape off the skin from the bottom of the stem. That seems to help stimulate the roots to grow. Now make sure the water stays topped up, and within a few days to weeks, you'll notice new roots growing on the stem. Once established, plant it in moist potting soil and grow per your usual herb instructions. 